Hey everyone, it's me James, and today I'm going to be doing a video uh, that's part of the YouTube Pass Around, and this particular one also came around from TSE, Chris Bailey. So thank you, I appreciate it Chris. Um, this soap today is going to be for J.L. Davis Soap Company, and the scent is the Bee Dreamy. Um, what I can tell you right now is that it is a softer uh, type of soap and you can mold it, roll it up very easily and in the sample that Chris sent all I did was take it out of the little wrapper that he sent it in and rolled it up, mashed it down and so now I have it sitting in my Lady C Creations bug. Whoop. Part of the bloom water there, but there it is. Still got plenty in here. I got kind of a cold, but even with that I can sense that there's some sweetness uh, to the aroma and also some citrus notes to it. <laughs> Smells pleasant. The razor I'll be using for the shave is my Weber Arc with the original um, Weber Bulldog handle. And I'll be using my Russian Soap and Blade podcast brush by Nathan Clark with my fan nut. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw some moisture. I'm going to put moisture on my cheeks here. It's been a couple days since I shaved. About three days. Oh. Need something for the nasal drip. There we go. Whew, some Sam Adams cold snap. Mm. All right. Squeezing out this knot. You won't see anything in there. It's been soaking for about five minutes or so. The brush. And. Just a little bit of moisture on top for the tips of the brush to work with. And load it up. Well, when I load or when I soak my brushes, whether it's a boar or a badger, I wet it thoroughly and in the container that I put it in, I don't let the water level go above half of the brush, well, at least on the banded ones to like right where the band's at, that's where the water stops. And that's plenty. Keeps you from uh, putting too much moisture up there in the towards where the glue is at. More of a long-term maintenance type thing, you know? Unless you're using like super hot water, which probably wouldn't be good for <laughs> the hair anyway. You, know, you don't have to worry about too much in the short term. All right. So, I think I'm pretty well loaded. Barely put a dent in the soap. And nice creamy proto lather. So I'll take that. No use. 
So let that go to waste. Man. Seems like a scent that I would like. I just can't get it all because of this cold. And it's not that, I mean, I'm able to breathe pretty decently right now, especially after washing with hot water. It's just that for me, anytime I get a cold, it just messes with the whole taste and smell thing. All right. Yeah, just rinse out the bug real quick. If y'all haven't checked out Sonia Honecker's uh, Etsy shop, go check it out. She's got some nice pottery. And of course I like this because it's in my orange and blue. <laughs> and also because it's a bug. A bold mug. Moisture on the tips. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. This is a tallow based soap. So I'm expecting at least good slickness melted ice cream nice and hydrated has a nice sheen to it pull the rest of that out set the brush in there Heat up this cold steel. There we go. feels protective everything seems on par really just letting the weight of the razor do the work steel good first pass rinse real quick and I'll be right back thanks all right I'm back so going by Rinsing and just, you know, touching my face as I'm rinsing seems to have a good amount of slickness. Very nice. So, when I put the reason why I like to keep a cup here for the brush. I saw something that David was talking about as far as leaving the brush sitting like that on the counter. I like mine in the cup that I have here so that everything stays near the, or at least be drawn more towards the middle here. Slide on down. Still gonna have some of that stuff there creeping on the 
handle but have that moisture be drawn more into the tips with the soap. So yesterday, a young lady from Poland that we were a host family for went to church with us. And she seemed to enjoy the experience, you know. We we're thankful that she. Uh, wanted to be a part of that with us. And uh, we were visiting because of a friend that my wife works with. Her son-in-law was in from uh, Toronto where he's doing church planning he's been doing that for the past several years and he was the guest speaker at uh, this lady's church so that's the pastor that we got to see speak and the message was about the Samaritan woman in Jesus, in John chapter 4, just a very, um, I liked, that's one of my favorite stories. In the Gospels, so I thought it was really cool that, um, This young lady got to experience that. You know, we didn't know what he was going to preach on ahead of time. And for it to be that particular story, I was like, wow, cool. Rinse up real quick. So yeah, and then after church, um, we were invited to go back to this lady's house for uh, lunch, barbecue. So, short ribs. This lemon cake, potato salad, and of course you gotta have baked beans. I forget what else was there. there might have been some uh, barbecue chicken too, but I wanted the ribs. Oh, I think there was some pulled pork too. Memphis, right? They had to be pulled poor. And after that, her, the girl from Poland, and baby girl just went and hung out at a, at a mall. Imagine that. And so. met up with them later. Not at the mall, but at home. All right, so. I gotta say, um, I don't wanna cut myself now that I'm about to say it, but um, I think this is the first time I've used 
the feather in this Weber arc and it feels really good. I mean, this is a, a brush feather blade and it feels really nice. I mean, part of that could be the conditioning properties of the soap on my skin, too. Thank you to all you guys that uh, sent well wishes and prayers uh, for my lack of job situation. I appreciate it very much. Hmm. And there we go, got a little too cocky coming around the band. Where's it at? Come on. All right, that's probably where experience helps. Because I don't see anything, but I felt it grab something. But it wasn't enough to bleed, so good. Let my lip get in the way there a little bit. This part. All right. All right. Do that with touch up on that. Here we go. Come back up. No uh, discomfort or anything. No irritation from the soap. So that's great. Very nice shave. Do a little bit of touch up. Moisture in there since I didn't do this right now. Alright, so the area that I didn't even make. Weeper. Didn't even touch that area. Not when I did that and stop. Very nice. All right. Very nice there. Again, that's using the Weber Arc, the Fresh Feather High Stainless, Nathan Clark Brush Soap and Blade Podcast Brush, and the JL Petrie Be Dreamy Soap. Again, sorry on the scent, um, because all I can really tell is that it's sweet and has some citrus notes to it, and that's pretty much all I can tell right now. But um, what I can smell, it doesn't smell unpleasant. Now, fortunately, I can't really comment on scent strength right now either. <clears throat> but what I can smell, smells good. <laughs> um, all right. So far, my skin feels really conditioned. 
so that's always nice. You know, I don't feel dried out or anything. So, that's always good. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, let's look at that peek at the lather, right? All right. Let's peek at what's left in here. All right. That's pretty much cleaned up. So, three passes, a little bit of touch-up. That's what I got left. It's a little bit bubbly only because of the fact there's not that much left in there. And most of that was water left. But, even with that, it's still like that. Seems to handle water well for my area. If we just do a quick roll. There, not too bad. A little bit airy, but not a whole lot. Has a good creamy property to it, though. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Just can't pick up the scent. All right. Thank you all for watching. Have a blessed week. And until I see you next time, thanks for watching. Bye.